Hi friends, today we are going to see how rubber sheet is processed from the latex produced from a rubber tree. If you like my videos and want to see more of my videos, please press the subscribe button. Rubber is available in its most natural form uh, that is called the latex obtained from the bark of a rubber tree. An incision is made on the rubber tree bark which produces a milky exudate known as the latex. The rubber that we produce by the processing of latex is used for the manufacturing of adhesives, insulating tapes, tires, rubber bands, footwares, etc. Let's see what are the different steps involved in the processing of a rubber sheet. Tapping, collecting latex, filtering, diluting, adding formic acid, coagulation, pressing and forming, washing and drying in shade, smoking. The latex is a sticky milky colloid drawn off by making incisions in the bark and collecting the fluid in vessels in a process called tapping. The pressure of the milky exudate latex is the highest during the early morning hours. So the process of tapping that is making semi helical incision on the bark of a rubber tree is usually done during the early morning hours from 3 to 5 am. And this incision will uh, make this latex fall through the coconut shell for about 4 to 5 hours. So the tapping workers can collect the uh, latex from the coconut shell after about 4 to 5 hours uh, for further processing. The presence of impurities will affect the quality and strength of the rubber sheet manufacture. So to remove all the impurities at first you have to filter the collected latex twice or thrice. This filtered latex is then diluted with appropriate amount of water. The, the amount of water uh, used for diluting depends upon the quality and the thickness of the latex collected. Once it is diluted, next is to set the coagulation process. To start the coagulation process, we need the help of formic acid. This formic acid together with the diluted uh, latex will finally form a, a solid mass as a result of the coagulation process. The next step after coagulation is pressing and firming. For this we need the help of two machines. The first machine helps in pressing the solid uh, mass of latex and once this solid mass of latex is pressed it is converted to a strong firm rubber sheet with the help of the second machine. The second machine has got some designs over it also. So we can see that the solid mass after coagulation is having little elasticity. This is passed through the first machine which helps in flattening the obtained mass. This flattened mass is then passed through the second machine for firming purpose. And it is pressed in the second machine for firming purpose. Thus finally we get a strong rubber sheet. This obtained strong rubber sheet consists of some amount of formic acid traces on it which will prevent it from proper drying and smoking. Hence we need to wash this produced rubber sheet before setting it for drying. Always remember the drying should always be done on shade only. The rubber sheet should never be dried in the direct sunlight. It should be uh, dried in shade and then the final process of rubber sheet making happens that is the smoking process. In a smoking house the dried rubber sheet is set for proper drying purpose. So after an a, after 2 3 days of 3 or 6 days depending upon the quality of the rubber sheet manufacture the number of days will vary. Anyway the smoked rubber finally will give uh, a strong structure which can be directly given to the dealer. 
the quality of the rubber sheet manufactured is uh, best if uh, the rubber sheet is the most transparent as much as transparent possible that much strong will be the rubber sheet manufactured and the rubber sheet manufactured should have some amount of elasticity as we stretch it should stretch and uh, if we leave it it should compress if it is too tight if it is too loose both are not good quality rubber the rubber that is left in the uh, coconut shell uh, is uh, finally collected but that is not used for making rubber sheet uh, this leftover latex in the cup is known as the cup lump uh, this is actually second quality rubber used for uh, it is directly given to the dealer uh, rather than producing any rubber sheet second quality rubbers can go for uh, some productions such as uh, rubber bands etc hope you guys enjoyed the video about how rubber is processed from the latex obtained from rubber trees see you with another wonderful video don't forget to subscribe.